the other exciting news, and is this, I, I don't, I mean, it was well publicised, so I think I can say that you had, you turned 65 this year. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Yeah. 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 yeah! Social, social security. I know. <laughs> Free travel. Some help. We might, you might realise yeah. on the bus on the way home. <laughs> 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 How did you celebrate? How does a legend celebrate becoming 65? I just had uh, some friends took me to dinner. Okay. We had a nice, nice time. And is there a special friend on the go at the moment? Oh, you mean, you know, you stepping out? <laughs> uh, yes. Ooh. Oh, I'm not telling you. No, but we used it. <laughs> That's fabulous. Well, you know what I figured? Well, when you hit 65 and you've been through as many marriages as I have, I mean, please, my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you should know a really wealthy older man. This hasn't happened, but this is my dream. <laughs> a really wealthy older man who's terribly charming, who takes you wonderful places and pays for everything. Then some vital, vital, like 50 or 40 year old, who's just, I don't care if he's a scientist, but he's crazy about what he does. And then somebody whose name you don't know, who you see twice a week. <laughs> now, Liza, yes. many of uh, your fans have made their way in here tonight. And uh, believe it or not, uh, one of your fans is a man and uh, he lives in Amsterdam. <laughs> we can't draw conclusions, Liza, but those are the facts. <laughs> uh, uh, where, where is that man? Is it Chris? Hi, Graham. Hello, sir. What's your name now? My surname is Cockhill. Chris Cockhill. And it's not like Cock Hill. No. It's not a hill of cock. No, not it's a hill. It's Cock <laughs> Hill. Like yeah. a sick cock. Yeah. yeah you said it. You said it. But, I mean, that must have been awful growing up. Yeah. Chris Cockhill. Yeah. Oh, best. <laughs> but now, Chris is a very talented person. This, you'll be impressed by this. Yeah. He has fashioned a likeness of you. So if you could hand yes. in uh, the likeness. This is really good. It's, it's a puppet of you. Ooh. And now, Chris, by the way, Chris said this isn't a gift. Uh, he's <laughs> just showing it to you. <laughs> it's just showing it to you. Uh, but. Oh, that... it's great. I wish I looked that good. You do! <laughs> but look, it's, yeah. it, is that now? Let me just... Oh, yes, look, I can do that. Oh! Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Isn't that good? Look, look at, at that. that. And then, and then that's arms, I believe. There's arms. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, where are the... And these are the legs. Oh, man! Yeah, so if I do that that's and that... Great. Look, look at that, you're having a rave in it. <laughs> that's... That, and now, now, this is good. Wait, 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 look. Uh -oh. I commissioned a small chair. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we can do, like, scenes from Cabaret. Oh. Can I do... You know that... Uh, should we put the lights down? Should we put the lights down? Look at that, look at that. See, there you are, look at that. Oh. 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 I'm so good at this. Oh. Oh, I'm so good at this. Oh. Now. Yes? Pick up the leg and put it over the chair. Yes, I will. <laughs> Hang on, what's the leg? Uh, that's leg. One leg's gonna go. There we go. There she goes. You know that was the first hip. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Isn't that really good? God, That's great. So much effort gone into that. It is beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful. I, look at that nose. Mm. I wish my nose looked that. Look, you look gorgeous. <laughs> look at you there. So, Chris, how long ago were you in prison? Is this the second one you made? Yeah. Well, I first saw Liza Live in 1978 at the London Palladium. I've been a fan since Liza with a Z. And oh, thank uh, you. you were so fantastic. You really were. I mean, I was blown away. I was yeah. 20 and I just thought, I gotta make a puppet of you. I just gotta <laughs> make a puppet of you. Thank you. It's a clear link. Nobody has ever said that to me before. Well, <laughs> response to a performance you've enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna go home and make a puppet of that lady. <laughs> <laughs> but we're glad
glad you did. It's very, very lovely. What? Can it lie down now? Yeah, no problem. No, don't look, look away Careful. now. This could upset you. <laughs> if it's a voodoo girl. <laughs> 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 anyway, we'll draw there. Uh, right. I'll put, I'll put, kind of looks like he's about to record an album now. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Any minute now. Now sing. <laughs> <laughs> don't waste your time. I'll sit close by. Uh, very moving, that. Very moving. It could make you cry. Do you know who could make cry? Who? James McAvoy. Can I make Liza cry? No. Well, you can make yourself oh, cry, yeah, can't you? Can make oh, cry. On occasion, I've made myself I cry. Thought you yes. make, I thought you could cry on cue. Which, uh, uh, that, that must be like Oscar waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't, it doesn't matter what, you know, you can be like, yeah, yeah, oh, look, I'm crying. I really know what this scene's all about. I know, I'll cry. <laughs> 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 Sometimes, like, generally I can do it when I need to do it. Every and now it, again, I've had the old kind of need to get the tweezers out and do the Joey Tribbiani trick. Ooh! Yeah. What's that? That's where you, you put your hands in your pockets with a pair of tweezers and pull pubic hair out. <laughs> can we say pubic hair? Yes, we can. <laughs> Uh, no, so, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Generally, I can do it when I need to do it. Was that something you learned how to do when you were a kid? I learned how to do it, um... Not the pubic hair, obviously. You didn't have any, but... Uh, <laughs> I only got pubic hair at the age of 25, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, I sent away for it. Uh, <laughs> puppeteer in, in Holland made it for me. Um, <laughs> this is a weird... Thing. Just uh, all strings. <laughs> strings. I can do amazing things with... Yeah. If I pull that pubic hair, my head. <laughs> Wow. The, kind of, the thought process that took me to pubic hair and pulling my leg up was nearly as weird as the thought process that led you to worship Liza Minnelli and then make a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> but when you were young, you must have been good because you gave an amazing performance to... Was it your, your sister? When Were you eight or something? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah this is was, good. This is... I don't know how you do... This is nasty, is what <laughs> it is. It's nasty, but it's good. Yeah. When I was eight years old... We were playing hide and seek, and I went up to the top flat of the house, and um, and I hid in a cupboard. My sister caught me like that. Joy, if you're watching, I love you loads. And uh, and I was really annoyed that she caught me. And I was quite nasty to my sister when we were younger. We're well, not anymore. And uh, she opened the door and went, ah, I've caught you, I've caught you, you're right. I went, no, 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 I'm not. And she went, what do you mean, what do you mean, I've caught you, I've caught you? I says, no, you haven't. What you've actually found is James's spirit. James is dead. <laughs> James died, and, uh, and I'm his spirit, and I'm, and I'm here to tell you that you haven't found me. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, she ran away crying. I know, boo, you must boo. And, um, and anyway, she ran downstairs and told my grandmother that James was dead. Oh. And, uh, and my grandmother came upstairs, like, breaking her heart, really, really upset, and then she saw me standing at the top of the stairs with a big kind of shit and grin on my face. <laughs> and, uh, I think she took her high heel shoe off and threw it at me. <laughs> He started calling me for me, hanging on and um, yeah, I was in deep shit for quite a while after that. Yeah. <laughs> but you turned it into a career. So I turned all... it into yeah, a career, yeah. yeah. And I've died in a lot of things. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm glad I got that early practice in. Uh, well, listen, uh, nothing has held you back because you're currently starring in the biggest movie on the planet. X-Men First Class. X-Men. It's out now. Uh, yes. I know that because uh, Jack's children yeah. were seeing it. Yeah. Uh, now, are you familiar yeah. with X-Men? Oh, yeah. OK, you see. Oh, well, yeah. this is a prequel. This is, am I right? You, yeah. yeah, you are right. Yes. Yeah, I've seen it, so yeah. I should know. But, uh, so, to, uh, but rather than me talk about it, uh, to, to go on. Talk, talk us through the premise. Talk us through the premise. All right, uh, the year is 1962. Mm -hmm. uh, mutant doesn't mean Hugh Jackman or Patrick Stewart or any of these things yet. <laughs> uh, it, or brotherhood or a different part or subsection of humanity. It's just a kind of medical name for something is wrong with you. Uh, and there's all these people all over the world who have something wrong with them, they think. Uh, but they haven't joined up yet and they don't know that there's other people out there with something wrong with them. Anyway, they get together and they start to realise there's not something wrong with us, there's something right with us and we're special and we're in the next stage of evolution and all of that. And then shortly after finding that there's more of them out there, they, they get charged with saving the world from nuclear annihilation. And that's pretty much the film yeah. with a few laughs thrown in. <laughs> <laughs> You're Professor... Professor. You're Professor X. Professor X. <laughs> Professor X. Professor <laughs> X. <laughs> I've also drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not in a, a wheelchair at this point. 
No. Uh, in the other films, Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart plays him in a wheelchair. Um, crazy character choice. But I haven't done that in this film because, you know, one of the good things about doing a prequel is that you get to explain why people are the way they are, why they're funny, why they're strange, why they're evil, why they're good, why they're in a wheelchair, why they have no hair, why whatever, you know? But you're still, and, um, you're still, even though you're not, you're not really as kick-ass as everyone else. Unfortunately, no. I mean, it's a big summer blockbuster action movie, don't get me wrong. It's just that the other cast get to do all the ninja action stuff, and I'm pretty much sitting there behind a desk <laughs> going like this. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's my special move. Really. <laughs> It's not very Did it take good. long to come up with your special move? I spent about three months in a Shaolin camp in Dagenham. <laughs> <laughs> Working with some Shaolin monk ninja commandos. And, uh, and it, was, it was deemed by them that I had attained a certain level of zen that I was allowed to use that special move. Because you could have gone with two. But I could have gone with two, but then I'd have mind-bended you so hard that, um, <laughs> that you wouldn't know what hit you till next week. <laughs> if we've got a little clip oh, of goody. Professor X doing his, his special thing. Mind-bending. Yes. Enjoy. Individuals with extraordinary abilities may already be among us. McTaggart, you really think that some crackpot scientist is going to make me believe in sparkly dames and vanishing men? I didn't really expect you to believe me. One of the many spectacular things my mutation allows me to do is that I can read your mind. Are you going to ask us to think of a number between 1 and 10 now? <laughs> no, Agent Striker, although I could ask you about the Jupiter missiles America are currently placing in Turkey. You brought a damn spy into this How's that for a magic trick? Best I've ever seen. Oh. 